What's going on, everyone? My name is Guy, and I am that guy 5.0. Finally back with another video. Yeah, I know it's been a while, but part of the reason I haven't been uploading is because I was having car trouble. As y'all see for the title, ended up being engine trouble. I thought it was an exhaust leak. I had a rattling noise coming from underneath my car. I thought it was an exhaust leak. It started right after I got my first oil change. And if you're a Coyote Mustang owner, you already know how this goes. I know when I said that, you probably said, oh, shit, I already know what's gonna be said. I already know what's gonna go down. So yeah, for y'all out there that don't know, a lot of uh, 5.0 Coyote Mustangs have a certain little issue after you get your first oil change, which you get some weird engine rattle. Now, I thought it was an exhaust leak, and I went to the shop that installed my cat deletes, and we did find a exhaust leak. So they fixed it up. It was a clamp that was uh, leaking. Somehow, it, well, it wasn't tight enough, I guess, and it was leaking. So they patched that up, fixed it, tightened it up, you know, I drove down the street, thought I was good. But this this uh, rattle that I was having, when you're on an open road, you, you really can't hear it. You mostly can hear it whenever you're uh, in a spot where sound can reflect off of like concrete or brick, like on the side of a wall, at a drive-thru, or, you know, the walls on the side of the freeway, whenever you're uh, exiting the freeway or getting on. Anywhere where you're in an enclosed area, you can hear you can hear the noise clearly. So after a week of you know still hearing that noise and whatnot, I said, man, I'm gonna take this car to my regular mechanic, have him look at it, and maybe we can figure out you know the source of where this noise is coming from. So he had me stay in the car, put me on the lift, or put the car on the lift with me in it, and I held the uh, engine RPM uh, between 1,000 and 2,000. That's where I was hearing the noise at. So I'm thinking he's gonna find the exhaust leak, where it's coming from, we're gonna get it fixed up, we're gonna be good to go. So there's like a, a, a mirror on the side of the shop so I could kind of see where he was walking. I saw him starting in the back looking for the leak or looking for where the sound was coming from. And he kept gradually getting closer and closer and closer to my motor. So then he gets to the engine and he says, Man, this rattling noise, this ain't an exhaust leak. This is coming from your engine, dude. My heart sank instantly. I was like, oh crap, I'm having engine trouble. This is a 5.0 motor. This thing is not cheap to replace. So I was scared to drive the car. I was scared to do anything with the car. And then I got on the internet, started doing my research, see, you know, is this common? What's, like, what's up? And I found that this is a common issue for Coyote Mustangs after that first oil change. Now, the car takes uh, 5W20, and that's what I put in the car. I put Royal Purple 5W20 in the car with the Motorcraft oil filter. So everything was in spec as to what I put in, and I seen certain people saying, yeah, I had this uh, same rattling noise from the engine that happened after my first oil change. A lot of people, like I started looking for solutions to fix it. A lot of people were going to the dealership and getting told this is totally normal. The Coyote makes a whole bunch of different noises. This is normal. You're fine. Some people were getting their short block replaced from the dealership. And that scared me because, you know, yeah, you're, you're getting warranty work. And if I had warranty, cool. But I've done modifications to the car to where no dealership's gonna touch my car. And I'm fine with it. That's that, that when you get into this car modification game, that's, that's that's what it is. You gotta know what you're getting into. And then there was another group of people that had the same rattle. I didn't record it. I really I was embarrassed to even have, be dealing with that crap, be honest with y'all. But anyway. I saw some other people that were fixing their car with this product, this oil additive called Ceratec. And I said, what the heck, why not? So I bought me a bottle of Ceratec, and when we get outside, I'm gonna show y'all the uh, product, and I'm gonna tell y'all what it did for me. So y'all stay tuned, we'll be outside in a second, 
See y'all in a minute. All right, so we're in the whip. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all this product that I was talking about, the Suratec, right here. So the first thing that tripped me out about this stuff when I first got it, I don't know if we can focus it, but none of these instructions are in English. They have every other language, but there's nothing that's in it. There you go. Nothing that's in English. Nothing. All of this stuff is in some other language that I really don't know. I know this product comes from Germany, but that's the only thing that trips me out is that there is no English on here, but made in Germany is in English. Out of everything you know, they're going to tell you that it is made in Germany. So that tripped me out when I first saw it. I was like, okay, how the heck do I use this crap, right? And then, when I open the cap, I mean, it might be a little bit left in here. Let me see. You can't really see in here. But when I open the bottle for the first time... Straight up, this stuff looks like chocolate milk. So I had something that with no English, nothing whatsoever in English, except the made in Germany. And then I popped the top and it looks like chocolate milk. So I was like, uh, bro, nah. But then I said, you know what the hell, people on the forums are saying that this worked for them. So let me pour it in, let me see what's up. So I was ready to pour it in, but you know, I got terrible aim, so I had to go to AutoZone, get a funnel. Say, so, you know what, let's see what's up, pour it in. And then usually when it comes to stuff like this, I thought, you know, you know, it's gonna take, you know, a couple, couple hundred miles or whatever for it to, you know, run through the engine and whatnot and potentially fix any issues I had. But let me tell y'all this. I poured this in. And that first start after just pouring it in, my engine was noticeably quieter. And I was like, okay, maybe this is just a placebo effect. Maybe I'm tripping. I went down the street and I went to all the places where I was hearing that rattling noise coming from. No rattle. And I said, but this is too good to be true. I kept driving it some more. I tried my best to replicate that sound that I was easily able to replicate. It would not come back. I've had this in my uh, car for about a good two weeks now. No more rattling. And on top of that, I feel like I got back some of the performance that I, I guess I've potentially lost, but I didn't realize is the car drives so much better. It sounds so much better. It just, it runs so much better. Basically what this stuff does is, I, I could be wrong, don't quote me, but it's like a ceramic coating on the internals of your engine, which prevents metal to metal contact. This stuff works. You can't buy this stuff in a, out here in America, none of the uh, auto parts stop, uh, shops carry it. I bought this off of Amazon. And this is definitely gonna be something I get every oil change. This stuff works. So if you're having any type of engine trouble, weird noises coming from the engine, whatever, give this a shot. I was skeptical, this stuff works. Again, here's how the bottle looks, Ceratec Liquid Molly. Check them out, man, this stuff really does work. So thank y'all for watching, man. I hope that uh, this can help somebody, especially if you got a Coyote Mustang. I hope that this was something that maybe you, you know, this can, you know, save your engine. This saved my motor, man. I'm so happy. And before I get up out of here, man, I guess I'll go ahead and give y'all a cold start. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock. My neighbors will be all right.
Got a mod coming in. It should be coming in today. I ordered a couple days ago. Performance mod. So, video coming on that. We're gonna do a whole little series on that. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, thank y'all for watching, man. Y'all take it easy. Y'all be safe out here, and I will see y'all in the next one.